This is a video showing how to enable or disable measurements within a single sensor. First, I'm going to use my Bluetooth connection dialog to connect a smart cart. I'll click on the available smart cart. Now that my smart cart is connected, I'm going to click on done. And you can see to this, uh, to the right hand side, we have a lot of different measurements that are associated with the smart cart. Now to make life easier, I'm going to uh, click on these triangles on the left hand side to collapse down these menus. On reviewing these types of sensors within the single device, you can either leave them enabled or disable them. Generally for the best data throughput on the sensors that you wish to monitor, it's best to turn off the ones that you're not going to use. For instance, if you're just doing one dimensional kinematics, having the cart moving in a straight line, we're not going to want to collect data from the gyro sensor. Also, if you're just going to be monitoring uh, the position of, this, of the sensor, you can go ahead and disable the force sensor and uh, the built-in accelerometer. The acceleration that's shown on many of the graphs is actually determined from the position encoder on the wheels. So with this, this helps streamline the amount of data that's going to be transmitted to your computer or computing device. However, if you're doing collisions, then you're going to want to have uh, the force sensor um, enabled as well. If you need to have the fastest data collection rate possible for the force sensor, please disable all of the other sensors except for the load cell or the force sensor within the smart cart. Let me show you how that can affect the responsiveness of the device. Normally the sampling rate is uh, topped out at 500 hertz for the the load cell within the smart cart. However, with all of the other sensors turned off, we can select the smart cart force sensor by itself, and then we can increase the sampling rate all the way up to one kilohertz. This will give you the smoothest data during the collision. 